Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Volcker Report. This is an intraday uh, snapshot of the market for trading on Thursday, July the 21st of 2016. You're looking at the uh, ticker symbol SLV. As you can see, silver is trying to get a nice pop here. Um, still has a little bit more upside potential before hitting the overbought scenario trying to break once again this um, this downtrend that has been persistent for the last day or so and right now the market is trying to decide if it wants to fill the previous gaps or if it wants to uh, continue climbing right now there is some some bids coming into the market and one could make a technical argument that this today is that test to fill in the last gap that we made in the market now that last gap that you saw in the market was on July the July 1st and the market gapped up and it didn't it didn't look back prior to that the market gapped again on on June the 29th so June 29th and July 1st we have gaps and those gaps are quite you know quite a ways down we're talking back at the 16 handle and then again um, at the uh, the uh, the 1786 handle so this is still not over yet it's still hard to, to uh, ascertain what's gonna what's gonna happen and if these gaps are going to be filled now or if the market's going to uh, continue onward really inter interesting to see how the developments are coming into the market but out of nowhere we, we powered up here uh, around noon time Eastern Standard Time uh, out of nowhere just just some, some a nice rash of buying so it's gonna be interesting to see how this market closes today if it can close strong then, it's, then it, it it bodes well for the bull argument that the market's not ready to pull back and fill uh, fill gaps if it fails and we get some selling this afternoon then it bodes well for the bear case that the market is ready and wants to fill those gaps before climbing higher if the bears win the argument then our true support is going to be around 1730 all right so 1730 is going to be the price to watch we don't want to really see a break of 1730 we want to Test somewhere around there. Um, even if it's so between seventeen dollars and fifty cents, seventeen dollars and thirty cents, that's going to be your range for the SLV for finding some support uh, here in this silver market. All right, uh, switching our attention to gold. Gold, uh, same situation here. Market powered up here. It's now in the overbought uh, territory though, so this is going to be one to watch to see how it closes. Also, if it can close near the highs or not. In addition to that, we do have a scenario in the gold that we need to we need to deal with, and that's the gap that was created on I want to say June the 24th, and that is going to take you uh, back down to the I want to say 123.76 for the GLD. All right, 123.76. So between 123.76 and I want to say one let's make it 120 so you got a three dollar price frame between 120 and 123.76 really you don't want to see 123.76 taken out you do not want to see that at all because that that's the last uh, the last area of support for the GLD different than SLV you could actually make the argument now technically speaking that the gap has been filled and that's because when it comes to filling gaps the markets don't necessarily need to go at the area of price breakout all it has to do is dip within the range of that zone and then you can call it a fill all right a lot of people miss that because they they like to look at the hard fast uh, traditional rule of gap um, and that's not necessarily true all right when you look at true gap theory in practice 
gaps don't always get filled completely they just get tested sort of like support and resistance not all the time do you have support and resistance um, tested to the number sometimes it just gets within a zone of that area of support and resistance and gaps are no different okay so let me show you what I mean by that okay looking at the daily chart you can see here this first gap here you see on yesterday the market got down to 125.39 okay the air pocket between here and here is 121.03 and 125 okay so you have a zone a pocket from the 21 121 to 125 area the market dipped yesterday to 125.31 alright that technically speaking is well within that zone alright it's well within that zone it tested it it got down to the 125 area so you can make an argument that the market has technically tested this gap or filled this gap alright right here now I don't know if I believe that because the trend line is so close to the one you know this 123.76 right here alright so we could still come down and you know get near to bounce off of this and be cool because we took off here um, from at, uh, at 121 alright so you we you you're well within this this zone this range trend line is right in the middle where it should be it's right about in the middle per se of the zone so technically speaking right here we can make an argument that the markets pull back hence we saw the afternoon breakout okay still more upside potential to go this is going to be one to see how we close the day, but it's looking awesome. All right, so that's your intraday metals report. And remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. So take what you can, give nothing back.